Many in South Washington County are once again watching floodwaters inch closer to their homes. Residents say heavy rains within the last two weeks have increased the water level by at least five inches. News 13's Chloe Sparks tells us many homeowners feel stuck. The last few months have been a roller coaster for some residents in South Washington County. Now more than ever, they say it feels like the county is giving up on them. What you see here, where I'm standing, I couldn't have stood before they started pumping. And it's still a huge amount of water that still needs to come down. Every rain brings it back up. Residents say flood water has risen five inches since pumps were removed in mid-February. And even people that have lived here for many years, they've said that, you know, it rises and lowers, but now it only continues to rise. Johnson fears they're left with no choice but to leave. However, he says selling his home to the FEMA buyout program doesn't sound like a good option either. We've been looking at other homes, other houses. Prices are a lot large, higher than they are that we're being offered, and therefore, we have no place to go. Johnson says FEMA is offering to buy his home for half the price. He's considering moving to Alabama. Many residents say they want to stay, but the money from the buyout program wouldn't allow them to. And what about how much FEMA makes on those buyout programs? It's ridiculous. It's more than a realtor makes on both sides. I used to be a realtor. And so it's very frustrating. Harrelson and many of her neighbors say they feel the county is keeping them in the dark. They'd like to have answers. In South Washington County, Chloe Sparks, News 13, Panhandle Strong. Now, county officials weren't available to speak on camera, but they say they're still actively working on bringing in bigger pumps. As Omicron subsides,